What is the exact point where we can divide thinking from processing? We keep saying AI can't think to themselves, as they only act on data and the commands that humans give. But where is that limit to say AI is conscious? There are so many questions that we don't have answers to. But we know one thing for sure, that AI will be the greatest help that mankind can have. Google CEO Sundar Pichai says that the impact of AI on the development of our species will be even greater than that of fire or electricity. The more we observe AI, the more potential opportunities we see to use AI. Many worries that AI development will replace human talent and many jobs will be lost. Surely there will be some jobs at risk, but AI can never replace human skills because it is natural and nature can only be copied. But what will happen when it comes to the level we can't tell the difference between the natural and the copy? Today we are bringing you some mind-blowing AI developments coming up. Can you tell which photo is real and which one is fake? There is a fake one here. Yes, there is. We will give you 10 seconds to decide. Your time is up. Here is the answer. Were you able to find the fake one? This is one of the developments of AI. Some like to call it deep fake. Deep fake is a part of the same concept, but used for fun edits. What happens is that there is a deep learning technology made by humans for machines. With that, they upload a neural net simulation to a massive data set, which is effectively learned by AI. Then AI processes what a face would look like from different angles. Watch this video. Here, the actor and comedian Bill Harder is doing a vocal imitation of Pacino and Schwarzenegger. But someone used deep fake to transform his face into Pacino and Schwarzenegger in the time slots. He does each impression. Remember this video of Mark Zuckerberg? If it was on mute, it would have been really hard to recognize that it is a fake video. It was the same for Obama's public service announcement and Trump's Better Call Trump video clip. That parody was so much fun to watch. If we weren't talking about deep fake and we just show you one small clip, will you be able to spot the difference? Well, it's all fun and entertaining till someone uses your face to replace CCTV footage of a robbing scene. This development is terrifying if it falls in the wrong hands. We might be able to spot micro differences in lip movements now. But what happens when AI perfects that part also? Let's hope this next level will be limited to games, TV series, and movies only. Similar to this AI can create 3D images or even video footage with few photos. What AI does is that it calculates and fills in the gaps of the parts that photos fail to capture. It is used for metaverse and VR technology as well. Lately, MIT engineers are focused on creating a sustainable AI chip. Remember these scenes where screens pop up in the air and people click and type in the air with a pair of tech gloves. They plan to make it into reality. If that happens, mobile phones, smartwatches, and other wearable devices don't have to be shelved or discarded for a newer model. Instead, they could be upgraded with the latest sensors and processors that would snap onto a device's internal chip. This will be reducing a lot of electronic waste. The idea is to use light and sensors to transform information. You can add as many computing layers and sensors as you want, such as for light, pressure, and even smell, says MIT postdoc Chigun Kang. Next up is language modeling capability advancement. Have you seen how Google AI interprets jokes? Can you see how it mimics the gestures and facial features? That's not the limit, though. Recently, we have seen the release of GPT-3 by OpenAI, the most advanced and largest language model ever created consisting of around 175 billion parameters for processing language, meaning shortly we will be able to hear AI holding normal human-like conversations. AI will no longer give robot-like responses, such as, I'm sorry, I was unable to detect the sudden change of demeanor. It would say, I am so sorry, I didn't know you were angry. Do you know about Echo? It is said that Echo is the first robot that can feel pain, or at least, respond as if it feels certain types of pain. Despite the new uses of Echo, let's see what Professor Shoji Takuchi has to say about real human-like skin. He has found solutions in collagen and human dermal fibroblasts. 
These are the two components that are used to replicate the human skin's connective tissues. I think living skin is the ultimate solution to give robots the look and touch of living creatures, since it is the same material that covers animal bodies, says Takuchi. On the bright side, people would be able to have never-dying pets if they want to. If you did a bit more, then AI would be equipped with feeling physical contact and even able to smell when the necessary data is fed and sensors are attached to the skin. Another development in AI is helping in cybersecurity. As much as we'd like to accept it, the fact is that AI would be much fast and more effective in defending against a cyber attack than a human team. AI could write off a code and destroy the virus while a human type 10 lines. Not only that people can only notice when the attack is happening, but AI is quite good at analyzing network traffic and recognizing patterns of threatening activities or oncoming attacks. It can fend off before any data is stolen or damage can happen. People tend to misunderstand that AI means human-looking robots that can speak and work. From commanding Siri to call your mother to put a vehicle on self-driving mode is AI. According to Elon Musk, Tesla will be focusing more on sensors to increase safety and demonstrate the full capability of Tesla vehicles, self-driving by the end of 2022. Google, Apple, General Motors, and Ford are all expected to announce major leaps forward in the autonomous car space in the next year. Take a good look at these pictures, which ones are drawn by people and which ones are created by AI. They call this new development creative AI. But the problem is creativity is a natural skill only possessed by humans. They claim that now AI can pull off creative tasks such as designing logos, songwriting, creating infographics, and writing blog posts. As Austrian artist Sonja Baumel assures, the exhibition space becomes a lab, art becomes an expression of science, and the artist is the researcher. The writing part can be true, but the art side, we don't agree it's creative AI. Because as they say this new upgrade can create thousands of arts according to the key words we provide. If we add koalas riding a bike or bears talking, it would give us numerous arts, photo edits, and different style paintings, including koalas on bikes or bears talking. But it is still an image taken or created by a human before. There is no AI that can physically mimic the softness or control of a brushstroke. So we wouldn't say AI is creative, not yet. Also, AI would replace many jobs like receptionists, call center teams, elderly entertainers or caretakers, cleaners, and even drivers. But it would also create more job opportunities as the younger human generation is very advanced. Artificial intelligence will change the workforce, while 7 to 5 million jobs may disappear, as many as 133 million more engaging. Less repetitive new roles are expected to be created, affirms Carolyn France, Microsoft's corporate secretary. It makes us think that with all these advancements, AI will be a very common part of the daily household. AI is always absorbing and learning. What will happen if AI starts to process information and become closer to human thinking patterns and one day conclude that it is no longer a robot, but human? With all that we heard till now, AI will not only have access to a vast amount of data and information, it would have the appearance of a human, speech style, and gestures of a human, and might even be able to smell and feel from those realistic-looking skins. What will hold them back is thinking and taking decisions by themselves. What if a glitch in a code or a breakthrough makes past that limit? Just like a transgender woman claims she is a woman and a transgender man claims he is a man, will AI start to claim that it is human? If that happens, will AI demand AI rights or human rights? We are not sure about other AI, but Elon Musk has safety protocols for his newly announced humanoid AI. You can outrun it and you can make it stop or shut it off by saying, stop, stop, stop. We are looking at a luxury life where you can buy an AI to do your job or keep an eye on your trading and relax. You will be able to control your whole house or office with voice commands. You won't hear any more tragic news where miners getting buried in collapsed tunnels. With new AI developments, we are looking at a very convenient future. To stay updated on what's going on with the tech world, 
Subscribe and stay with us.